can you talk about a little bit about we have so many junior players Billy that are that are watching the show and and they're they're getting ready maybe to go to school and they're looking maybe maybe at doing the pro tour at some point if they can you know break in on the satellites or whatnot can you talk about the difference since you played freshman you won the NCAA as a freshman which is an unbelievable feat and then you went pro can you talk about the difference between the the, the college level at the top like you were and then going to the pros is there a big jump there is it a small jump yeah, I think it's big. I mean, just because, you know, there's no easy matches. And I've been away from the Pro Tour for so long, but certainly have a lot of my players that have that dream and try to go out and play pro tennis, and some have been somewhat successful. Uh, Mark Knowles, uh, one of our former players, is still out there doing really well. I think still top five in the world in doubles. Uh, you know, to, to mention one, David Sanguinetti, the Italian guy we had for uh, two years, has, has been top 20 in the world. And Gimmelstab played here and, and a few others that have done pretty well. But it, it is a big jump. And I think, it again, it comes down to you being ready to go out on the pro tour. If you go out there with weaknesses and not really mature mentally, um, you know, you're going to get beaten up. And it's really going to, you know, sort of be something that you carry with you every week and it's hard to get out of that rut um, I just you know I've always tried to recommend to the guys that come here with the idea on coming coach with one one year in mind or two years in mind I say fine that's great but let's just reevaluate after each and every year I mean you might say two or three years and you might be ready after a year or you might say only a year or two and after two years you know you're you're playing number four for us and you know, you're just sort of maybe middle of the pack, top 50 in the country. How do you expect to, to survive out there? Um, you know, probably what tr makes most kids turn pro, uh, in my opinion, is they just don't want to do both academics and the tennis. And, mm -hmm. you know, to me, that's always sort of the wrong reason to turn pro. To me, you should be turning pro and giving up college tennis and your, your uh, you know, a academics when you're really ready. And I just feel like so many of them are, are leaving for the wrong reason because they just, and, and it's not easy. Uh, combined academics and athletics at any university, much less a UCLA or a Stanford or a top uh, university academically where you're really competing in the classroom also is very difficult. You have to be really good with time management and uh, you know discipline and give up a lot of the social stuff. So um, I try to get them to evaluate it after each year. Are you really ready? I mean, are you going to have success out there? Or, you know, the, the life on the future circuit is, is not fun. I mean, everybody finds that out eventually. And that's why it's good maybe to play some when you're in even high school or college during the summer that you'll, it's not glamorous. It's not watching the French or, or Wimbledon and you don't win a lot of money even if you do well. So, uh, you know, I think they've got to experience that and find out it's just, it's a tough life and you better be ready because there's a lot of hungry guys out there. Yeah, right. Well, what are the what are the odds, would you say, of a player starting out, say they do really well in the juniors, of the odds of them being, say, in the top 10 or 20 in the world? What do you suppose that would be? Well, I'm sure it's very high. I mean, they're, you're a very low percentage, uh, you know, because it just, it's so hard. I mean, there's so many great players now. Our sport has just become so international. Uh, there's so many great athletes, in my opinion, playing tennis now that didn't 10, 20 years ago that would have played soccer from a you know eastern european country right. or from south america or something but now that tennis has gotten more popular it's on tv more the prize money is so big uh you've got parents and kids you know wanting their children to, to play uh tennis and you know it might be a way out of a certain lifestyle a chance for them to really you know to make a lot of money and to you know sort of break loose from what they maybe their normal path would be if they stayed in their country or something like that so you've got better athletes which is making you know it just that much more difficult uh, in my opinion so uh, it's it's a low percentage and you know everybody sort of has a different time where I think they blossom or, or come out of their shell a little bit some earlier than others so I, it's hard to say you know uh, exact number because everybody's different I've seen some kids you know just uh, you know, two, three years after they've left school, just become great players. And I'm like, I'm mystified, really. But it does happen. But there's so many uh, stories where, you know, you, you had kids that left school early that tried it for six, seven years. Then what are they going to do? I mean, it's just, you know, they don't have an education. It's certainly different for other countries. But here in America, we know how important a college degree is and it's certainly to, to be in a, a really good school like a UCLA or Duke or wherever you might be 
be able to send your kid to school. I've always felt, go for one year. I've always tried to tell the kids, go for one year. If you think you're ready, at least generally you, the door's always open for you right. to go to back to that school. I've had kids not go to school uh, out of high school, and we could have gotten them into uh, here or somewhere else, and you know, they didn't take advantage of it. And there's no way they would ever get into a school uh, you know, without that help of athletics. Right. I, I think athletics uh, really will open up doors and uh, allow them to get in maybe a better school than they would have been able to get in, in, in on their own. You know, right now, uh, 4.3 is the average GPA at UCLA. How many kids that wow. play tennis have that? I've gotten maybe one or two in the last 10 years in yeah, right. on their own. Sure. So that's I heard of, about guys that have those kind of GPAs. Yeah. I never personally I never hang it. around those kind of guys. <laughs> they, were, they scared me. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> Well, should that be the goal then, you think, if a, you know, a parent's got a young kid and a pretty pretty talented, should the goal not be Wimbledon and the U.S. Open and the Pro Tour? Should it be a great college education instead, you think? Or Well, again, it, there's no right scenario for everybody, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of it has to do with the resources financially, I think, of the parents. I mean, you look at... Uh, you know, Roddick's parents, I mean, they certainly had the resources to be able to give him everything that he would need, trainers, coaches, traveling on the tour. I mean, if, if you have that advantage, then it, that makes it that much easier. But so many of the kids do not have that. I mean, you really need somebody out on the tour when you're young, in my opinion. That's when you really need someone sort of holding your hand, you know, there when things are bad and, you know, keeping your head level when things are good so you sure. don't get too carried away with yourself. Uh, and not many of them have those financial resources. So to me, that's a, a big part of the puzzle that I think helps make the decision, quite honestly. But uh, I think you have to, you know, sort of be able to be, you know, level-headed as far as looking at the talent of the kid. You know, wh what type of game do they have? Do they ha really have weapons that are going to help them out in the Pro Tour? In my opinion, you better have weapons out on the Pro Tour. I mean, guys who just get the ball back and are real steady are a dime a dozen, but you know, you have to have some weapons now, in, I think, to play Pro Tennis, and not a lot of the kids have those, but the ones that do, maybe it's a, you know, a Sam Query or something like that, really have right. some weapons. You know, that, that might have been the right decision for him. But for nine out of ten of the other kids, might not be the right decision. Right. Okay. I know so many of the guys I grew up with, probably like you, were national champions four or five times. You know, they, they have four or five gold balls, and they never, never broke into the pros at all. And I, that just baffles me. There's so many great players who don't make it. And they're, they're phenomenal junior players. I mean, national yeah. champions, you know, and all that. Well, so let's go to college. What does it take? Obviously, UCLA, the Bruins, you guys have one of the best programs of all time in, in the history of college tennis. What does it take to play at a school like UCLA for a coach like you that has this track record a mile long? What does it take? Well, we're certainly looking for great players, uh, no doubt about that, ones that can win and have won and have experienced uh, you know, tough competition under tough conditions, really. Um, you know, except for maybe a Davis Cup match or something like that, boy, there's not much more tougher, comp, uh, you know, conditions than going over to USC, yeah. you know, playing yeah. our, our crosstown <laughs> rivals, <neighborhood>. and <laughs> they don't like us over there, you know, or Stanford, you know, they're they're saying some not such nice things uh, about our guys and yeah. the, and their parents and their sisters and brothers <laughs> and all that. So, it, you know, it, it's good competition. We have great rivalries with you know our conference. Uh, teams and all, but it really toughens you up. But I need guys who have experienced tough international competition or tough national competition that have gone through some of those experiences, although a lot of them have not experienced anything like what we're talking about when we play these on the on the road matches or NCAA championship matches. So that that's one thing I'm looking at. I certainly need somebody who I think is going to be able to, you know, compete at UCLA academically, and we really want somebody who we feel is going to be able to graduate and get a degree, not just hang in there for two years and then, you know, flunk out or have to leave school because they can't handle it. So those are things that, you know, my administration, our athletic department is looking at, uh, you know, that we're bringing in people who have quality to graduate. Uh, and then I'm looking for, I love great competitors, quite honestly. I mean, to me, even if you're talented and you like tennis and you're a good athlete, you know, if, if you're not a competitor, that scares me because too many of these matches are won with just heart and you're tired and, you know, you just you want to win it more than the other guy across the court. 
but that also has to do with whether they're willing to train hard, you know, to put in the work off the court, uh, you know, with the running, the weightlifting, um, all those kind of things. And then maybe lastly, are they, are they a good team person? I mean, is it me, 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 only what I want and, you know, I don't want to give up anything for myself uh, that might help one of my teammates or am I willing to sacrifice a little of myself for the better of the team and that doesn't happen much in this sport I mean until you come to college maybe high school um, you don't see that so you need somebody who's able to give a little of themselves for the better of the team and, and mature a little bit that way and, and, and that takes a while a freshman isn't going to be quite as good as a, a senior down the road but you need somebody that you think is going to be willing to give of themselves a little bit for the good of the team that's kind of tough, isn't it? Because it's such an individual sport. We're trained to think on our own, make decisions on our own out there, and then live with it. And then all of a sudden we come to college, and it's a team thing. And that, is, that, is that a tough transition for some players? For some players, yes. But some players love it. Uh, some players just, you know, it, they, they might not try so hard if it's just for themselves. But, boy, if it's for the team and their buddies and everything, they're going to die out there. They're going to give 120%. Uh, where there's some players that that's too much pressure for them. They, they don't like that. If it's just for themselves, they're relaxed. If they disappoint themselves, that's okay. But to disappoint their teammates just puts that much extra pressure. And you never seem to know that, uh, no matter how hard you try to look and see uh, when you're recruiting, until they get here in, that, uh, in these sort of circumstances. When it comes down to that last match and it's your team, their team, and it's the third set, how are they going to react under that kind of pressure? Some guys really like to be there. Some guys would just die to get out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And sure. uh, boy, you, you kind of find out real fast who are the guys that like to be there and want to be in that position and thrive on that kind of pressure. So it's, it's kind of fun, but that's part of the equation. You, unfortunately, you never know until you, you, you get them here and you yeah, see how right. they're reacting. But a lot of them get better. You know, they fit, they they maybe falter a little bit as a freshman, sophomore. But you know, a lot of times in life, you just got to fail and fail again until you succeed and that's why you feel a little bit better when you've got uh, your seniors and juniors in those big matches because they've they probably have a little bit more experience and you know they can handle the pressure a little better sure